Last week on SLV, on our week-long sail to Nui, the weather was nice enough for us to stop at the magical Beverage Reef, a tiny speck in the middle of nowhere. There we go. I'm just cleaning up when there's a build-up of rust on this, and this, and this, and this, we get soot on our pots and pans, which just gets everywhere. Mm. So, this is on its last legs, as you can see. <laughs> we're about to pull up stumps here, and we're gonna head off to Newey. 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 To Newey. We really wanted to fly our new drone over this insanely blue water. Now, I knew it was going to be quite difficult being our second flight ever and our first off of La Vagabond, but we decided to throw caution to the wind, pun intended. I'm so nervous. Short conditions are safe for aircraft. We've got an altitude 1.2 meters and hover in place. Now I'm just going to go straight up. Oh. Chop your hand off. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, my god. It. It's alright. You guys okay? Yeah, it's alright. It didn't oh, come in a little oh, bit. Oh, dude. Alright, let's not fly. Oh my god. <laughs> That's it. I knew this was a bad idea. That's it. I'm taking it away. Is it turned off? <laughs> well, it, ha it hasn't broken. But you guys have definitely. <laughs> I'm so glad you caught it. Good catch, Riley. We pulled off anchor and left towards our final destination, only 120 nautical miles away. We followed the breadcrumbs out that we had laid on the way in. Riley really wanted to spear the pass before we left and redeem ourselves and get another tuna or even a wahoo. Oh. I can hear whales calling underwater God. I can't see any. But the depth just went like real shallow. No fish unfortunately, but those whales that I had heard popped up a few hundred metres away, which was just too far away for our cameras I'm afraid. Now that's beautiful there, you're, you're in the groove. Close when the big when the big knee comes out, we're doing a few lunges. So yeah. Doing a bit of sailing now. Oh yeah. <laughs> asked for a smoother night sail. Nothing interesting happened that night apart from a few blissfully solid few hours sleep for all of us. The morning sunrise had brought us some gusty winds from the south. It was all hands on deck. because it still seems to be blowing up over 22, 23 in the gusts but we're going about six and a half knots now 
I still don't think we'll get there before sundown, but there's a chance that we might now. And what do we have here? Well, he's back at my delicious young man. salty rissoles. I'm trying to kill the salt with different things. We've got gherkins, which is salty, teriyaki sauce, which is salty, and this stuff here, which is salty. But the peanut butter is a little bit sweet. Desperate times. I'd swallowed some seawater yesterday, which is probably why I had an allergic reaction to the salt. I do not salt. Your soul will fly, let go tonight. Our bodies collide just like June and July. And that is the flattest piece of land that I have ever seen in my life. I think maybe because the international date line's coming up, it's created some sort of two-dimensional world. And the last time I was in one of those, a guy called Bowser came and stole my princess, so I'll have to be on the ball whilst I'm here in Niue. Looking at the land here, it just looks like a cliff that sort of drops off. And we've been staring at it for so long now that it's like started to change a little bit and it look, it seriously looks like a tidal wave. We've just been chatting out here about what we would do if that was a tidal wave. With the boat, Riley reckons he would wind in all the sails and head straight into it, full motor. And I really don't know what I'd do. I'd probably just go cry in my room. From VCF about 10 miles, I think, or 15. There's some, there's some really good ones downstairs. Please go and get them. I'll upgrade them, alright? I'll go get the big ones. Are they the worst binoculars you've ever seen? They're, yeah, they're pretty bad. It just, it just grates me seeing and using. <laughs> they do. What do they say? No, they're not. No, they're the, your other pair. No. Oh, they're not too bad. They're the mine. Now those are the good ones. That's what Jeff got us. Whoa. He's like from Jurassic Park or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a scope. <laughs> <laughs> Bleeding a fish whilst we're going along and healed over is never good fun. Oh Jesus! Peace <laughs> out! <Pizza! laughs> <laughs> I was putting my lip balm on. <laughs> Daylight had faded and we were closing in on the anchorage of Norway. We were all just hoping that there would be a spare mooring ball for us. Is that something there? It's the left, yeah. Straight ahead. Go real slow for me, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go, yeah. What do you want me to do? Straight, straight, slow. Perfect. <laughs> we got it, we got it. In a matter of minutes, we were already greeted by a friend, Steve, off sailing vessel Van Cadesi, who we met in Tahiti. Alright, what's this place like? It's awesome. We've yeah. had a good time here, yeah. Alright, And cool. if you're lucky, there'll be whales in here at night. Oh my gosh, we saw some whales on the way here. Nice! Yeah, what on earth are you doing, Alana? Haven't put makeup on in eight days, and I'm taking advantage, hitting the town. We're going into Nui. There's going to be three people awake. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just glad to be off the boat for a little while. How good is it Steve? Come and pick us up and take us into town. 
Yeah, so we just came in like to the anchorage and Steve, our mate from a little catamaran, was like, hey, in the dark, couldn't see each other's faces, but just recognised each other's voices. And he, we told him the prop's broken, so he came over and he's picked us up and we're gonna go into town and find some food. Jeez, it would be nice if the prop wasn't broken. I know. Yeah. It's job. Yeah. Thank, Steve. thank you very much, mate. No worries. You're I'm a, on driving to a boat right now. You're a gentleman and a scholar. I don't, I don't know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> gotta hook up a bridle. There was yep. no jetty to tie off to, as the bay we were in encounters pretty serious swell, being very open. You just want to guide the dinghy yep. in the background. Holy. <laughs> there was a crane set up though to lift all the tenders out of the water. Steve showed us exactly how to do it. Keep coming up. I'm a certified crane operator. Are you really? Uh, well, crane truck. There's our little parking spot. Do you get a parking ticket? So explain the situation. We just rocked up and demanded curry. <laughs> they were closed and having like knock off beers and we rocked up and he has made us this. We accidentally stumbled upon, stumbled upon the customs official and he's like, hey you guys check <laughs> There's just something about arriving to a new place in the dark and waking up to finally see the usually wonderful scenery. It looks really pretty out there. Does that? Mm hmm Oh, it's so nice in the old flat water. Mm. We haven't been in calm, flat water since, I don't know, where were we, like Bora Bora? Mmm. It's been a long time. Would you like a cup of coffee? I would absolutely love one. Alright. What on earth is going on with your hair? <laughs> I am Fabio, the most beautiful man in the cosmos. <laughs> I just gave it a brush. Fabio indeedy. You look so different. I do I. Nua Yacht Club, Nua Yacht Club. This is Sailing Vessel the Vagabond. Uh, sailing Vessel calling Nua Yacht Club coming over. Nua Yacht Club, this is Sailing Vessel the Vagabond. We have just arrived and would like to uh, organise a check in and clearance. Steve was nice enough to give me another ride into town so I could check in and hopefully pick up my mail. That being the new propeller, our ticket to freedom. There are dark skies outside and my clock says 3 a.m. There are dark skies outside and my clock says 3 a.m. These early morning hours. Okay, so as you can see, this place is absolutely beautiful. Nui, which is a part of New Zealand, is home to 2,000 souls. With one major town and a select few cafes and bars, it has a quaint small town feel without what I have termed lately isolation sickness, which some islands seem to suffer from. I hear the wind blowing my window. Once again though, I was into some boring jobs before I could go and explore. So no ATMs on the island, but I'm hoping that this Kiwi bank will let me withdraw money on my Australian card. I was just wondering if I could withdraw any money on that card. That's twice now I've been warned about uh, walking around without checking in, so Nui seems to be, despite appearances, fairly officious. 
So I'm walking back down the dock here to meet um, all the customs officials and fill in all the paperwork and all that sort of stuff. They obviously didn't get the memo on the open borders policy. That might be them there. That customs. <laughs> Finally got your prop. Indeed I do. I think it's a non-standard prop. Um, so yeah, we're going to be motoring at about one mile an hour and paddle assisted for the near future, I'm afraid. After a very chilled first day in Niue for me, we were excited to adventure around this beautiful island. We heard word that there were many hidden bays and caves well worthy of exploring. If you go hit them groove in the sunshine, love sipping on the sun, I do. Can't believe that it. Tune in next week, we explore underrated Niue, hang out with the locals and the fish. Hey guys, La Vagabond has just joined Twitter, so if you'd like to read some Twitter updates, Riley is all about it these days, and the link is in the description below. And thanks for watching.